it's Laura from uh, 50 somethings low and bow um, so we finally finished uh, backyard hardscape we had of course done the sod three times and after the third time it didn't take we decided to try something a little different and of course we do everything ourselves so may not be professional may not be perfect but we are loving it and here's a panoramic of as we walk through our side yard gate, showing everything we've worked on, everything from the yard itself to the deck, which is part of this project, my fish cleaning station, and of course the actual walkways that we have put in. out here and our little one has found that lizards like to hide in our peacocks so I'm constantly picking our peacocks up all the time because she tries to chase the lizards in. Uh, we worked on his fish station. This is kind of his part of the yard. We did this. I, I pulled out my cricket. And we did his salt life on it, uh, the same that we have on our boat, and his Mustang actually. And then he did a glaze over it so that it'll withstand the weather. Um, it's been out here several weeks now, so all it is is a quick wipe and it's nice to go. We also have his grill pad. So nice dedicated spot. This we had put in actually couple years ago the pad was put in a couple years ago yeah yeah we just we added all the rest um can i help you young lady come here, come here. um and then my lovely husband did this for me he uh took my turtles their metal turtles and they were not doing well on our patio uh the rest and everything else we made kind of uh, our version of a hardscape ocean. We did the crushed glass in here, and no, it's not sharp to cut the dog's toes, so if they get on it or around it, they're fine. Just a little um, hint, if you're gonna do colored glass, get the fire stone glass for your grills or your outside, um, uh, outside grill areas, yeah. and that stone has been polished and it's about half the price. Yep, and I stuck my hand in the bucket to make sure nothing got cut before we put it down where I live. But they don't walk up here too much. Um, but anyway, so we did kind of where the water comes off the, the roof because we don't have the gutters here. It, it fills up and this works perfectly as a drain field. We just wanted it a little bit prettier. And I'll explain. You'll see later I'll explain how we made this a drain field. This entire yard really is a drain field. It's got several layers it holds taken no down water. eight inches in all the areas that you see rock and then packed in with crushed rock, sand. It's got the barrier material so that we don't get any, hopefully don't even get any weeds growing through. And then on top of that we've got I believe about three inches of mountain granite stone laid in. Yeah. So and then, of course, this was earlier. We did this beginning of this. Did we, do it on? we did a deck. The whole project has been about five months. Yeah, yeah, we completely rebuilt it because it just didn't been here so long, and wood in Florida is not always the greatest. So we worked the entire thing out and we redid it. Yep, and actually because we did it over the course of five or six months, we went ahead and paid for everything out of pocket. And like I said, I will have a breakdown of everything that we use material-wise and what it cost. And also show you 
that we reused a lot of the good material. My fish table is actually made out of waste material from the deck project, all yeah. except for the top itself where I did have to buy a piece of three quarter plywood, the most expensive piece, $69. Yeah, of course, I mean, incidental, but we, just, that was even an earlier project right over here in our pool screen, uh, or in our pool area. And we work on it a little bit at a time. Uh, we spend most of our time outside here uh, to include winter, so we wanted it to work for us. Enjoy the video. Leave a uh, comment. Leave us some um, leave us, leave us ideas. What do you think? You know, are we providing enough information? Are we, you know, giving you enough of visual cues? But this is all about showing you that even in middle age, you can save money due to this project yourself. And you can use that money to go out and play, live in life, right? You know, you got to live life to the fullest. Because it does look like retirement is going to be a few years later than what we thought it was going to be. So, we wanted the Oasis to hang out in. Okay, hello everybody. Hello everyone. This is Lo and Bo, 50-somethings. Uh, we decided to do another home project. We've been working on this section of our yard for about two years now. We've sodded it three times. Sodded it three times and it won't take any uh, sod. We don't know exactly what was done to this part of the yard. My theory is when they put the pool in, whatever they were doing and whatever chemicals they were using was put on this side of the yard because it will not grow anything. So we're gonna do a bit of a hardscaping and we brought in now six inches of fill dirt with the sod that we laid and we're gonna put in some pathways which we're working on right now to try Doing, and get rid of some of the yard get rid of some of the yard <laughs> and then we're gonna do some combination of rocks and mulch and some of the native Florida plants just to do something with this side of the yard if you look at the dirt it looks awesome I mean you would think you could grow anything in it but that's just the top six inches that we brought in. Now, Laura's working on, on this side, I'm fixing to show you, she's working on the corner of the house. She's gonna put in some flowers and plants. Uh, just a nice ground cover. Just a nice um, ground cover. Yep. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's labor intensive. We are actually, I've been working this little section right here for about three weeks, Laura. Yeah, I getting think... the grass, the old grass roots taken up from all the sod we laid last year, or maybe the year before. I laid the the walkway you see here going to the shed. And uh, again, everything about this channel is just saying, hey, regardless of your age, we can we can do things, save a little money, so that we can uh, put up for our retirement, or at least enjoy life right now as we're getting ready for retirement. Not that this is the enjoyment part, but when we're finished, <laughs> uh, those of you that seen the video of the deck that we built, if you didn't check it out, we saved a lot of money on our deck. <laughs> and, and if that uh, looks hideous, then we're the only ones that can see it. So yeah, well, exactly. you guys, so. But it's gonna turn out great. <laughs> Hardest part is getting all the existing roots up. Once you get the existing roots up, you get the get the ground broken up we've been getting a lot of rain we have a hurricane coming in Ian hurricane Ian you only want to know what time of the year it is and everybody knows so, it's a good time to do yard work with a hurricane on it yeah way. but when you're having to dig up <laughs> six eight inches of soil the wet of the soil the easier it is to work with so even though we are preparing for a hurricane we're taking a couple days to actually work this yard too where it's easier so Laura and I just went and picked up our paper base. We're actually going to use mountain granite stones. And just now starting to lay in our matching stones for our walkway. I've already got the paper base down, got it leveled. And as you can see, I'm working my way forward into the area that's going to match up to the original base for my grill. And we will actually, as you see, I've got it marked off. I'm going to do a complete pathway from the gate, from the side yard to the front. And just work slow. It's heavy. Get it all straightened out and use wood forming. Doesn't have to be perfect because, well, if it was perfect, it would look too good. Well, 
Laura and I are continuing with our backyard or side yard transformation. As you can see, we've got pretty much half the yard completely scalped. Good. Picked out some different flowers that we're going to try and plant. All of them are hardy. Uh, we're not going to plant grass or sod again. It just, for some reason, we can't get it to grow back here. We just got back from Home Depot, been working this project now for about two weekends straight. I've got two of my pathways in my drain field laid. The plan is to use the forward section or the aft section of the yard, I should say, as a drain field. And also I've laid some pavers to walk in because I don't know if you can see, but we have a very steep grade and I've already taken about two inches off the top. Laura's gonna put some jasmine, I think, in that corner over there. We've taken out two palm trees and across the fence line, she's also gonna add some jasmine. We did have some ground cover there, but nothing seems to wanna grow in this area. We're very close to the water. And I, I personally believe when the pool was built, this area of the yard got contaminated. So, this is where we're at right now. And as always, doing it ourselves, we're saving quite a bit of money. I'll tally everything up at the end of this video. 